in Myanmar. You had quite a fortune. Would you be able to share with some of our uh, curious viewers approximately how much it was in numbers or not? Well, I'll say this. The company, Accord, was established in the year 2005. In the year 2008, we were raided by the Casimir Group, an American investment management company. They studied our company and valued us at $4 billion in 2008. In terms of ownership, I was the founder and at this point the 100% owner of the company. At the time, I employed the assistance of the country's attorney general, and this was before he made his claim to control a portion of my shares. This means that at the age of 35, I was valued at $4 billion. At the time, we had created one of the best professional companies, a wonderful team, and we had reached great heights and great results. Ilgar, from your experience and your view, how much money does a person need to be happy and have peace of mind? What is the amount of money beyond which you say, this is enough, we could just not possibly need any more money than this? Today, as I grow and I draw near to God, I understand that for every person, even the wealthiest people, even for those with untold billions of dollars, today, to sustain a family in wealth, it is sufficient to bring in no more than, say, $100,000 a month. With this kind of money in this day and age, you can live lavishly and still have sufficient money to help others. But when you were on the other side, what were your thoughts then? Back then, I think my perspective was largely driven by my pride. $100,000 was not enough for me. I would spend anywhere from $500,000 to a million dollars in like a single month. I understand that these were vain expenses. I have come to the conclusion now that you can sleep in one bed, drive one car, maybe have even a mansion. The most space, though, that you can occupy in that mansion is 20 square meters maximum, and you're unable to take up any more than that. Christ said it is difficult for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. He did not say that it was impossible, but he did say that it was difficult. Why? No, well, this is because, allow me to give an example. If you have great prosperity, great authority, many people who attain wealth often get misled to believe that they are like gods and it is in their power to determine the fate of others. Pride prevents them from recognizing that there is one God and there is one Son.